On this video, we're gonna to be touring luxury one acre plus home sites. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Texas Model Home Tours. I'm your host, Alex Piak with Evolve Real Estate Group. Guys, today we're out in Parker, Texas, and we are touring this huge, beautiful one-story home behind me. Uh, this is the Hillsboro floor plan with Shattuck Homes in their Whitestone Estates luxury community here. This is a one to three acre luxury home site, and you're not gonna wanna miss today's model home tour. This home is over 4,500 square feet on one level. I'm gonna talk to you about different structural add-ons. We're gonna talk about what the base home looks like compared to what they did here in the model, all the customization you can make. We'll talk about prices, taxes, HOA, everything you're gonna to wanna to know if you're interested in building a luxury home on acreage plus properties here in Parker, Texas. So guys, let's head inside, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome inside the Hillsboro floor plan here with Shattuck Homes. Here's your beautiful grand two-door entrance, nice tall ceilings. And as soon as you walk in here, we're gonna walk into your home office. We'll step inside and take a peek here. You've got the beautiful white shiplap accent wall. Again, very nice tall ceilings here. What's really nice about this home office being located up front, again, we're on these large executive lots here, anywhere between one and five acres here in this beautiful community. Here your home office is sitting with that nice covered front porch. Look at that view outside there. And again, here, nice, large home office. Many people here are gonna be work from home, so this is a nice little feature here. We've got the double glass French doors, beautiful light colored hardwood floors. But you can see this room here is a nice size, easily putting a nice large desk, additional seating, and having that closet space in there. Gives you some room to keep some of your mess tucked away, but beautiful home office right off the front entrance of the home. You can see how wide this entrance is. So giving you a peek from those front doors, see that nice open floor plan. We have your formal dining room over here as well. And again, everybody asks for those nice tall ceilings. So you can see for a one level home, having those 10, 12 foot ceilings makes a huge difference on the overall aesthetics and feel of this home. And that's what you would expect when you're looking at an executive series here, homes priced at the $1.3 million and up is you want these type of features in your home and Shattuck does a fantastic job in what they build. We've showcased probably a dozen different Shattuck model homes on our channel. But what makes this really unique is getting homes with acreage out here, more this executive style acreage plus lots and being on one story is really what makes this home pop amongst all the others that we've showcased in the past. As we make our way through here into the entrance of the home, we've got this really cool bar area here with the opening. So for those who love to entertain, that is a great spot right there. And it opens right up to your living space. So again, perfect for entertaining. And as we move into your living room, let me pan up so you guys take a look at these beautiful cathedral ceilings where they've done the exposed beams and they've colored matched those with the light wood finish to match the beautiful three quarter nailed down hardwood floors. This is a true nailed down three quarter inch hardwood floors. I'll show you here in a second how you can easily always tell whether you've got real hardwood floors or some type of engineered finished or glue down floor. 
Look at how nice and bright that is with these four huge windows, just letting the natural light kind of pour into the back of the house here. And then here's your fireplace with that beautiful shiplap again. Shiplap matches what we saw in your home office. We've got your custom built-ins on each side with the floating shelves. And I'm sure if you were building and designing, if you prefer to have your TV over the mantle, that is something you can do in design with the low voltage engineer. Let's make our way over into the kitchen area because this is where most people spend a majority of their time. And here we've got the beautiful two-tone kitchen. We've got that navy blue. And these cabinets are a little bit more, I would say even a light gray. They're probably coming off white right now in the video, but they're like a hint of gray which looks really good with the, the countertops, the backsplash, it kind of pulls out, makes them look a little maybe off-white or gray. And it just makes that navy blue really pop. And then you've got those gold or brass finishes. Take a look at the two pendant lights with the, that brass wraparound metal right in the middle and how well that plays off with your vent hood here where they've tied in the blue from the island with again that kind of gold brass polish look. That's a beautiful piece there. Got your gas cooktop six burner. I like how they've carried the ceramic tile around. So take a look at those finishes there. So. You've got your standalone vent hood, beautiful piece, but then they brought the ceramic tile backsplash up and around to finish it all off. Those are the little fine touches that you're expecting when you're looking at, you know, 1.4, $1.5 million. These are the touches. Here's that beautiful island. You've got your apron sink. You've got your built-in flush mount, KitchenAid, refrigerator. And here's that view into your dining room. You can still see those beautiful tall ceilings with that chandelier. Look at the view from your kitchen into your living space. You know what, let's circle back while we're here too. I wanna to make sure you see the, the bar area. We talked about it, we looked, but let's kind of take a step in here. Somebody likes their Moscow mules. They've got their copper cups, love the floating shelves. That little, little built-in right there is beautiful to be just a little shelf. Let's open these up so you can take a look here. So you do have functional cabinets so you can put your glasses. You can stack some, some of your liquor bottles there. And then on this side here, you do have your little sink, your mini sink there with some additional storage. Great little serving area. While we're walking through, we'll take a look at the dining area. This is kind of your everyday eating area. So not your formal dining, formal dining's up front, but here's your everyday kind of sit down breakfast nook or less formal, more of, I think now we're calling this the casual dining space. I love how it is all wrapped in glass basically. This is a beautiful accordion style door. So this is a different style. You guys have started to see the double sliders. Well, here you have your functional everyday door, 
kind of in and out. We'll go in, we'll go out actually in a second, but when you flip here, okay, you pull that handle, you pull that handle, like an accordion, this entire door will open all the way, basically opening this entire space. So imagine having all of those doors pushed open. If you're entertaining, man, that would be so cool to be able to come out here. You have this huge covered outdoor patio, guys. You've got your cooking station. Now keep in mind, again, this is simply the model. So these are additional add-ons. This is more the landscaping design, but the builder's done a great job in this model. Take a look at that wraparound bench with the gas fireplace out here. You could put a ridiculous outdoor pool out here being able to entertain. Again, we're on acre to five acre lot opportunities. Look how massive this backyard is. And this is really what brings people out here to this area is the privacy, the ability to build an executive style, large home, pool, outdoor space. Again, what's awesome here is you still have access to Plano ISD. So you've got amazingly rated schools. So Plano ISD has service here to this community. Here we are, we're back inside. I love always talking about that indoor, outdoor feel because that's, again, lifestyle. That's what people are looking for. That's what you're coming out here to the Parker area. You're looking to get away. Great little storage closet out here, right off. We're gonna come back here, but before we finish up in the kitchen, let me show you your pantry. Take a look at this pantry. Nice, deep pantry. See the builder's currently using it right now. But this White Stone Estates community, again, executive style, oversized lots. And then here's the walkthrough back to your dining area and your pass through little butler's pantry right off the kitchen. Now let's go take a look at the primary suite. Take a look at this beautiful primary suite. Look at that nice tall ceilings, guys. That cathedral ceiling again with the exposed beam. Everything kind of tying the aesthetics together with the light colored floors. The wood accent wall. Like we've got a beautiful bench seat here. Great for looking out over your backyard. This is a very large primary suite. You can kind of get that feel as we pan around here. See how much walking space you have all the way around this king size bed. Those windows up there with the little niche cut out, bringing in some additional light from the side of the house. Those are the little structural things that I want to point out. You know, as a real estate agent, the advantage I have, the unique perspective that I'm able to bring on these model home tours, guys, is I've been in hundreds of model homes. I've toured and walked probably over a thousand different builder homes, spec homes, model homes, new construction. So I'm able to kind of give you some perspective having toured that many homes of the little differences uh, that I love to point out so you guys don't miss it because that's really truly what separates many of these builders that could easily go overlooked. 
let's take a look here. I love the double door here. Again, look at all the shelves. Floor to ceiling in here. And then we've got our split vanity, large soaking tub. Let me get close here so you guys can see, because that is a nice large soaking tub. Again, having the two windows in here, when you are hundreds of feet apart from, you know, or a hundred or more feet apart from your neighbor, having those open windows, you're not so worried about somebody looking in. You've got privacy and space, but we do see that on some of the 50, 60 foot lots where you're right on top of your neighbor. Here, you don't have to worry about that. Great walk-in shower, nice large shower. You do have your seating bench. I love the pebble floor there for your feet. I bet you that feels incredible when you're in the shower. And again, another up high window, bringing in the natural light. Oh, well, take a look at this. We do have the nice trade ceiling with the chandelier, the sconces on each side of the mirror. See, every time you come back, you just pick up on another finish here. More of that furniture style cabinet with the pieces going all the way down to the kick plates. Same thing over here with the sconces. Here where your sink actually comes out about an inch and a half to two inches. Little touches like that. You know, one of the things that I always tell buyers is I don't work for any of the builders. I work for you guys. So I'm able to share these unique perspectives. I always say the good, the bad, the ugly, and the great thing about different builders. So we bring that perspective to you guys, really helping you make the right decision on who's the right builder for you, which community. I love the pull out drawers, this furniture style piece inside your changing and wardrobe room. Three levels of storage and hanging at a bunch of different lengths. So whether you've got long dresses, suits for men, suits for women, and then this kind of center divider here. Although I know in my house, it wouldn't be a 50 50 split. I don't have that much clothes. This would be more my wife taking over, but that's for another video. And here again, another nice little touch. I like this in a one level home where you have direct access to your washroom, utility room from your primary suite. And look what they've done in here adding in that slop sink. It's not even a slop sink. This is a beautiful sink here. Uh, we're used to having those secondary sinks, but uh, that's a nice touch. They've done the built-in for the refrigerator. So having a second refrigerator inside the home where you don't have to go out into your garages, those are some of the higher end finishes. Again, things you're gonna wanna be on the lookout for when you're spending a million four, a million five on a home. And again, when we talk about price points, this home here with the structural add-ons, and we'll talk about those as we continue our tour here. As a base home, you're at about 3,800 square feet, a little over 3,800 square feet for three bedrooms, three and a half baths, game room, study, in a three car standard. That is your base home. Again, that's gonna be with this elevation that we showcased here, the exterior, at about 1.325 million. Now, they've done some things that we're gonna talk about. We're actually gonna get into the first structural add-on right now, which is the fourth bedroom and fourth full bath add-on. So as we go down to that, let me point out this room right here because this would be your three car garage. It's open to the builder right now, but this wall right here where you have this cool mud room here with your hanging for your coats and your shoes, this wall would be enclosed and this would be your three car garage. So you'd come in from the three car garage into your mud room and directly come into your home 
And again, this would be your utility room. So you'd walk in right here, utility room, come in to your formal dining room and directly in to your kitchen. So that's the flow of the home, but you can build and have this fourth bedroom with a fourth full bath added on to this home. And I think this is a great add on here. So if you do have guests or you want to add a guest suite to your home, you could add on this great fourth bedroom. Again, look what they did with raising the ceiling. So you keep that nice high end luxury feel with the tall ceilings. This home is going to be located on the front part of the home. You have these nice two windows offset to your driveway and the garages. So this is a very private wing of the home and it adds in an additional full ensuite bath, which is great for guests. So here you see your sink, toilet, and then you have a full stand-up shower. Stand-up shower. You've got your glass doors. They've done the tile floor here adding again that upper light or window actually sorry the upper window to bring in the extra light but you still retain your privacy and here again the builders using it but you do have another walk-in closet with two walls of hang that's really nice and deep i mean you can see they've got their sign storage in here everything so great add-on that you probably seriously want to consider again prices are always subject to change as of today's tour that's like a forty-two thousand dollar addition but think about it that's not bad because it's one level so they're having to pour foundation uh, run all the underground utilities for plumbing and electricity so that's a fantastic price and you can kind of see that guest room would walk right in here we're back to the living space. Now let's go look at our secondary bedrooms on this floor plan. Down this hallway. Oh, there's a surprise again, just more storage for the builder, but you do have a storage closet there. We're going to come back to the game room. I promise that you there's another structural add on there that we want to talk about, but coming down here would be your secondary bedroom. So these are the bedrooms that come standard on the floor plan as is. Remember, the base is a three bedroom, three full and one half bath. So this would be one of those bedrooms. And again, nice tall cathedral ceilings, bringing back that wood design and feel throughout the home. And again, another en suite bedroom with full walk-in closet in here look at the size of this walk-in closet so here great room great room size let me spin around and close the door so you can see again another full bath this one here they opted to go with the tub again but if you're building those are all the structural things that you can decide on. But very nice room, again, located in the front part of the home with these two large double hung windows, bringing in lots of natural light here. And let me spin around so you can get a good feel for this home. Or feel for the size of this room, I should say, not for the home. Now out in Parker, you are looking at about a 1.8% tax rate on the property. So that is a very low rate, very comparable to like a Frisco or Prosper, but you're getting all of the land, which you really can't find in those markets. Uh, most of those markets have gone to your smaller 50, 60 and 75 foot lots. Uh, that's pretty standard in most of the master plan communities. You may find an 80 or 90 foot, but those are extremely rare. Nothing in the, you know, the acreage opportunity. So 1.8% is the property tax rate. 
Uh, your HOA here is just about $1,300 a year. So again, nice affordable HOA. Considering you are in a great school district with the Plano ISD, here's their third bedroom with another ensuite bath. And this is the third standard. I already showed you the fourth, which is the guest add-on. And again, another walk-in closet here. White Stone Estates, again, building beautiful, beautiful estate style homes on acreage. A little over 250 home sites here. 420, 425 acre development with a three to four acre central park for the community to use as well. Now this is really cool. So this is the standard game room. So you have your double doors here that walk into this really cool, they've got it set up as a billiard room. And you'll see another structural add-on that they've decided to go with here in the model, which does add a couple hundred additional square feet. So to give you an idea, the base of this home is 3,800 plus square feet. What we're looking at in touring as a model with the fourth bed, fourth bath, with the game room media, the actual media room add-on, we're actually touring a home that is about 4,500 square feet. And the price with these structural add-ons, so here's your media room. Uh, this one here is about a 32, 35, $38,000 add-on. Uh, again, those prices are always subject, subject to change, but here in the model home with the media room, fourth bath, fourth bedroom, and the additional powder bath add-on, we're looking at 1,407,000 roughly is the price here before your lot premium and before you go to the design center where you're picking your floors, your tile, your light fixtures. Again, you may upgrade some of those things and spend some additional money Really, what I see most people do is they spend about 10%, 10, 12% of the base price of a home is usually a good fair budget. You know, that's another thing we're able to do for our home buyers in the home buying process. Again, sometimes buying and building new can feel a little overwhelming, but we're able to guide you through all of those structural add-ons, the design center add-ons, and another thing people forget is the low voltage. That's things like, where do we want to put additional lights? Where do we want to put additional light switches, including the floor, maybe on the each side of your headrest on your primary bed so you don't have to get up at night to turn off the lights when you're already in bed. Those are little things we're able to help you with. I love this powder bath because it's great that it has that outdoor door right there. So let me walk back in here, guys. This little door right here leading to your outside. If you were ever going to do a covered patio like they did outside where we looked at the fire pit or even having a pool, having direct access to a bathroom like this, super smart. So that is one of those little things there you may want to consider when you are building a home, but this is an absolute incredible one story floor plan, guys. One floor, 4,500 square feet, four bedrooms, four full, plus the half bath, the bar over here for entertaining, this ridiculous living room with these huge cathedral ceilings. This floor plan, this model, really checks all the boxes of what we're asked for so frequently from home buyers. Home buyers want that open floor plan. They want the tall ceilings. They want the large, luxurious primary bedroom and 
uh, bathroom. They want that guest suite, this indoor outdoor feel here with this accordion door, allowing you all that ability to open that up and get outside. This box, this home really checks all of those boxes. So if you're a home buyer and this is kind of what you're looking for, you're looking for the more premier luxury estate acreage type property and community. You want the convenience of, be, of being able to go into an Allen or Plano, but you wanna be on the outside where you can get some privacy and some land, but you still have the great schools of Plano. This community, Whitestone Estates, this might be it for you. There are several other communities similar to this in this area that Shattuck is also building in. So reach out to me and I can share those with you as well. Some of those communities may not have model homes because they're gonna sell from this model home into those communities as well. So reach out to me and I could share not just more information about this incredible community, but some of the other similar acreage luxury communities in the Parker area as well. All my contact as always is below today's video. Give me a call, send me a message, or you could always hit that QR code at the top of the banner on our Facebook or YouTube page, and uh, that will allow you to schedule a direct one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me, kind of meet in person. Uh, we love doing that. We do that all the time. We probably have about 12 to 15 buyers per month on our YouTube page that are connecting with us, talking about what it looks like to buy a new construction home or possibly relocate. We have a lot of relocation people coming as well that leverage our channel. So reach out, we'd love to help you in that process. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to our channel. That really helps us out tremendously. It lets YouTube know that we're doing a great job producing great content and helps them share our channel with other prospective home buyers just like you who are thinking about relocating and are looking at new construction options here in DFW. So we appreciate you guys. As always, it's Alex with eXp Realty, your Dallas, Texas real estate agent. And uh, we appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next model home tour. Take care.